here's the har harmonic gate. Bella, uh, did you want to guide us into this section? I know that's not normally what we do, but I, I need to pause for a second. <laughs> Yeah, let's just start with a the theme. You are the healthiest using your mental gifts in service to others rather than understanding your own life. There will always be some, some who needs your clarity and inspiration. And I'm gonna turn off that thing in the background. Okay. So the way that I like to look at channels is that they are defining the centers around uh, where, wherever they are. So here, if you have the 63, four, you're going to have a defined head, you're going to have a defined ashna. So it's creating your definition. And as Ashley said, those specific centers are not creating your inner authority. Some defined centers create authority, not all of them. So here, um, you know, you might be, you might be a mental projector that only have those two centers defined, but it doesn't mean that you have, a, you know, you're, you're trusting your head and your mind for how you how you make decisions in your life. What I like to look at when it comes to the to the channels are those keywords or this frequency band that speaks about the whole channel. So we many of us we almost know them by heart, at least the ones we have in our own chart. What's the shadow? What's the gift? What's the city of a gate? But here we have it of a whole whole channel. So here we see nagging. And you know, I I would think that this could have been the 18 and the 58 as well, because it's also it's also kind of logical and saying, okay, this has been spoiled, like this is wrong, <laughs> how, you know, but here, I think that the 63, four is even a little bit worse because of the 58, 18 always has like, often at least has some kind of idea of what the solution is. But I feel like the low frequency of doubt and the low frequency of intolerance, <laughs> like that's the nagging word is not even like working on something that's been spoiled. It's just very much kind of stuck in, in that intolerance and that doubt, which often, you know, is self doubt, but it can be kind of projected outwards as well. Um, and then the beauty here is that when we, because we are speaking about this circuitry that is logical when we come up to a higher frequency about understanding about inquiry there's reason in it it's like it's deductive like we can look at things and we can formula form formula formalize is that how you say it, which is what the four does so that the gift frequency there's so much intelligence here and there's so much logic and then the highest frequencies when Re when richard even says that the 63 goes beyond you know, the logic, it goes to truth and truth is like has nothing to do with logic in a way and forgiveness as well has nothing to do with logic. So meaning that meaning that comes from living in truth and, and being forgiveness, because for me, I don't think that forgiveness is really something that you do. So being truth and forgiveness, that's when you're walking with meaning through the world. So it's especially at the higher frequency. And this is where I feel like even with the 64 doors, this is the shift that we made this year. Last year, we were speaking very much in a kind of gift frequency, in a human design sense, much more than the jinky sense. When we kind of move up frequency, we were including the heart. We were also going into the more mystical path of, of the five sacred, of the seven sacred seals, where this is the fifth uh, seal. So that forgiveness is part it's a portal to a mystery school it's a portal to a different way a higher way of living and that's where the shift happened from being much more the gift frequency we're going up to a higher frequency where logic doesn't serve anymore because something else more powerful is speaking through it and, and to us mm -hmm. great the last thing that i would add about this channel in particular um if you see each time that we um, talk about the harmonic gate in the channel, it says what type it is. So this is a projected channel, which means like whatever truth you have arrived at or whatever understanding you have, it's project. It, it, it's a projected channel. So that means that it follows the same projector strategy where it's all about waiting for the invitation. So as soon as you get that idea, that formalization, like, oh my God, if this, then that, this and that, I can see the pattern that you're doing. I see yourself going in this loop or whatever it is. If you just go and insert you insert yourself into that other person's life and say, I recognize this, I want to share this with you, it may not be received because they didn't even ask for it. So if you do, if you do have some insight to share for the other, make sure that you're invited to share it, that it comes up in the conversation, or that at least you ask, hey, I noticed something about you. Do you mind if I share it with you? Take it or leave it. I just want to bring it to your awareness. And the gentler you are at being able to you know, bring that to the person, I think the easier that it's received. But if the four is paired again with 
and we're going to move into the programming partners. If the four, four is paired with the 49, which is all about reaction, and you're reacting to the way the person is being, you're like, yeah, well, you're doing this, and it's, and it's causing this, and it's like a blame thing, then it's not going to be received. So you have to check yourself and see, is my intolerance and my reaction to this person what is driving me to find this understanding and then trying to give them the understanding so that they can kind of maybe come on our side or agree with our truth. And then it's not really healing the relationship because also you're so intolerant of the other person that you're not even open to understanding what they are experiencing. So forgiveness can't come in, rebirth can't come in. There can't be a revolution that happens in the relationship. And there is no understanding besides the understanding that you're so annoyed or intolerant of the other person.